Hey there, tennis fans. I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today, and it ships today. Winning ATP titles, well, it's pretty hard. Just ask Kei Shikori, who recently staffed a nine-match and three-year losing streak in finals. Or Gil Monfils, who won his eighth career title at Rotterdam last week, but has still lost 21 of his 29 career finals. The difficulties of Nishikori and Monfils got us wondering, which ATP players are the best at winning finals? Now we know there are a lot of factors that go into shaping these records. Strength of competition, quality of draws are extremely important. But for this list, we decided to keep it pretty simple and look at just raw data, you know, simply wins and losses in finals. So here we go, the 10 best ATP players in finals based on winning percentage and a requirement of 25 or more finals plays. Thomas Muster, 41 and 11, 80%. Now when it comes to winning finals, Thomas Muster was the king. The Austrian won 44 of his 55 finals, including 12 in an incredible 1995 season that saw him become the first Austrian to ever win a major title at Roland Garros. Nikolai Davidenko, 21 and 7, that's 75%. The great Davidenko is second on our list. He won five titles in a season, twice, and went 27 and 1 in ATP finals overall. The Russian never won a major, but he did manage to beat some pretty amazing players in finals, including the great Rafa Nadal, three different times. Number three is Tomas Engvist. 73.1%, he went 19 and seven in finals, and he was part of a great generation of Swedes. He won 19 of 26 finals and even defeated the great Roger Federer in Basel way back in 2000. Next up, the great Pete Sampras, 64 and 24, that's 72.7%. Even though the legendary American has been passed by the big three in the Grand Slam titles category, he still has a higher winning percentage in finals than Federer, Nadal, or Djokovic. Gustavo Quirton, 20 and 9, 69%. Boy, is he legendary. Guga went 3 and 0 in Roland Garros finals and won 20 of his 29 career finals. Novak Djokovic is next with 72 and 33, that's 68.6%. .6%. He is sixth on our list. He owns 72 and counting titles and a winning percentage of 68.6% .6 in ATP title matches. Up next, it's Rafa Nadal, 68.4%. He's gone 80 and 37. Now, Rafa comes in just a tick below Djokovic at 68.4. That's seventh for our list. And the King of Clay owns 80 titles and a mind-blowing 57 and eight record in clay court finals. And this one may be a surprise, Andy Murray, 67.2%, that's 45 and 22. Now his career may be in doubt at the moment, but Andy's legacy will live on forever. He is number eight on our list with 45 titles and a 67.2 winning percentage in finals. Then we have Roger Federer, 99 and 51, that's 66% for the maestro. He's number nine on our list, but just a fraction, behind Murray, Nadal, and Djokovic. And finally, number 10 on our list, Andre Agassi, 52 and 27, that's 65.8%. Image may have been everything for the American, but that didn't keep him from winning a lot of his finals. So there you have it, the best of the best when it comes to winning ATP finals. Did anybody on this list surprise you? Let us know in the comment section below, and we will see you next time.